Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com. And today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to use a bad example of my own artwork to warn you about a principle called the monkey house. And this is a non-technical name for when we lose perspective and get in too deep on a bad piece of art. Because if you were the guy that worked at the zoo cleaning up after the monkeys, every morning you'd walk in and it smells bad. But as the day goes on, you just get used to the smell. By the end of the day, you don't even smell it anymore. You're just sort of used to your new circumstance. Well, once you leave and get some fresh air, come back the next morning, you remember that it still smells bad. It never stopped smelling bad. It was just that you got used to it. Well, the same thing can happen with your artwork. So here we look at this piece that I've been working on recently. At a glance, the colors are kind of interesting, but it's got a big glaring problem that means I have to stop working on it completely. If you see here, the perspective is really skewed. I even use SketchUp to help create my understructure, so the perspective is not incorrect, it's simply not well used. So I've got this very uncomfortable composition. It falls off the left side of the page in a weird way, it doesn't feel very balanced. In fact, the space itself feels pretty confused. But I worked on this for a long day. I started in the morning, and by the end of the evening, I was feeling good about it. And then I realized, I'm in the monkey house. This is not working compositionally. And in the case of this piece, it all could have been corrected in the first 10 minutes. These should look familiar. Do you remember these landscape thumbnail sketches that I did in the last video? These took 10 minutes. And even though they are crude, I can look at each of them and say, it'll work or it won't work. Out of the four of these, I could pick one and take it to a finish. But I would know, because it works small, that if I enlarged it and added details, it would be likely that it would still work. Well, I didn't do that with this last piece. Instead, I got sucked into process. Sometimes as artists, it's fun to just go through the steps, the motions. So here, part of my process was using SketchUp. So I built this cool environment. Look, it's a pretty neat space. And in my mind, I understood the space. I'd been modeling it for an hour or two, and so I really had a sense of it. So when I moved the camera around and picked a composition, all of a sudden, it didn't seem like such a weird, convoluted composition. Because I had extra information. I understood the space. But clearly, the composition I came up with does not really explain the space if this image is all you ever know. So I skipped the thumbnail phase. I went straight into the fun stuff. I got the model going, I started moving the camera around, took my screenshot, and then I was off and running. And at this point, I started getting in the monkey house. I continued painting and adding details, even though I was not going to fix this. Of course, at the time, I didn't realize that I was not going to fix it. it. seemed good. But this is why we do thumbnails. I can't stress this enough. It's my job to paint, and yet sometimes I'll forget to do thumbnails. And this is what happens. I cannot stress this enough. If you're a beginner or a pro, don't forget to do thumbnails. I wasted four hours of painting just because I wasn't being careful. So the next morning came, recognized that I was in the monkey house, and I started a thumbnail. And in fact, I did two thumbnails. So you can see here, because this space is complicated, a top-down camera angle just explains it better. This gives you a better sense of the layout. And while I was at it, I just decided to do it in sort of two dramatically different lighting setups. And this is something I've never done before. Now, I haven't done my final painting yet, and there's a pretty good likelihood that it'll turn out okay. And I can say that because I like the thumbnail. I think it works well at a small scale, so it'll probably work well at a big scale. But please learn from my mistakes. Don't skip your thumbnails. They're very important. And in general, Take breaks from your art. Get some fresh air. When you come back, you might realize that you've been in the monkey house. So don't let it happen to you. Thanks for coming to Control Paint, guys.